Live from the edge of South Austin, South Austin, where everything you say is a lie, it's going to be a great night. And now here are your hosts, coast to coast, from Key West to Key Largo, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Yeah, hells yeah. Uh, ah, it's raining diamonds. Hallelujah, it's raining diamonds. And and hi, young Justin Robert Youngs. Uh, sorry, I was you know, looking at it. It's mostly an audio podcast. <laughs> well, I sh- I, you know, that's on me. I shouldn't have put a distracting thing on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank there you, Brian. Well, okay. Brian <laughs> gets and, it. And, and by that's a little enthusiastic. He made award goes to Brian. <laughs> that's right. That's goes right. To Brian. Uh, uh, Justin Robert Young, how yeah. was your week? Man, uh, 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 it's, been, it's been a week and a, and, and a half. Uh, you know, I think uh, it's been, been just one week. And, you know, for me, yeah, it's been. the other the other three days have just been listening to Donda. Okay, can we? Uh, uh, can you explain to me because I have heard that it is quite good and so awful that it merits zero stars. <laughs> <laughs> Please explain. I mean, the funny thing about Kanye West is that he's a Rorschach test. So like whatever you want to see in Kanye West will be will be given back to you by, by which I yeah. assume you mean he says to the world I'm not stuck in here with you you're stuck in here with me I mean look he's a man who in the last calendar year both uh won a award for making a gospel album yes and then did a listening event in a stadium in Chicago where he brought out Marilyn Manson, the Antichrist superstar himself. Yes. And then lit himself on fire. So, like, uh, uh, whatever you want. Like, like, any part of that that you want to make the whole story, he's given you plenty. Uh, uh, yes. Also wears a mega hat from time to time. Oh, that w- and that's, like, three controversies ago. The right. fact that, like, the, the current president is the only one that he hasn't either insulted on live television yeah the president insulted him on a live mic or uh, almost ruined his career by uh, of celebrating unironically a president like, but the year is still young my friend i'll tell you what uh so 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 is and, it and is, way, is it Don, good or not good donda coming out is the only achievement that biden has uh will probably want to claim in august <laughs> everything else has not been great for him wait, 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 so, so I've, I've heard it called the most kanye album which i didn't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing again it's whatever you want it to okay, be right. i thought it was really really good uh, uh i thought it was his best certainly since life of pablo if not dark twisted fantasy uh, so, uh, uh, man, we've got a lot to get through because we have a special guest, uh, who probably has opinions on this very album that we're talking about. But, uh, but first, uh, what do we have first, Bryce? Our first topic today is... Holy fuck, it's a... <laughs> okay, so, uh, I live in a rural part on the outskirts of Austin. Yes. And... The last time I remember, getting increasingly less rural. Oh, you're not kidding, man. Like, like I, as, as a matter of fact, our all these Californians coming in. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ha, ha, ha. This one, this one lives a little closer to town. Uh, just jokes, just jokes. So, uh, uh, the last time I remember feeling this feeling, I paused and then I understood what was going on. This would have been 2009, 2010, I think. Yeah. Uh, I am riding a bike shirtless. Full on spikes all the way spiked up because that was the style at the time. Yeah. Deep talking. Onion on the belt. Uh, uh, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. this feels like, like a, 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 an erotic fiction novel <laughs> waiting to happen. This feels like, it feels like a, a cut chapter of the Diamond Club. This car <laughs> pulls around the corner and uh, uh, in the passenger seat is, is a, a, a youngish girl, I don't know, late, late teens, early 20s. And she's she's doing this thing, you know, where where she's holding up the phone and expecting you to not notice that she's definitely recording. So you, you are so so you are, are on a bike in this story, yeah. on a bike shirtless with spikes up, and somebody is recording you because they are almost certainly going to post it as like so Austin, like, like Austin like, AM. Uh, what's this weirdo? Yeah, exactly. Dumb hair. 
bad magic. Probably probably ruined the Invisible Dead. <laughs> uh, about five pounds overweight by my judgment. Oh my but, god. But, uh, <laughs> but but very quickly I realize. Okay, yes, it is fairly peculiar for for me to yeah. be sporting this look, riding around on a bicycle. Or yeah. Whatever. I ain't had that feeling in ten years until this last Friday. I was dropping off Josie at the airport, or sorry, at, at the, the school, at Jesus. school, at school before I went to the airport. Okay, uh, gotcha. Uh, yeah. So, her so school, I, 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 I was gonna say, I, 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 I know she's gotten big on YouTube, but I didn't know she was like taking <laughs> meetings in LA already. Okay, okay. Give, give us twenty minutes. Man. <laughs> so, so we're going, we're going forward, and as you know, Bonnie, uh, I, you know, we told the story of me buying the Jeep, and Bonnie for Christmas got me a a, 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 a spare tire cover that just says Jeep, Jeep which has been the, the the code name of it on the show correct, yeah correct um so so we're driving and and uh I have the same moment of confusion when what I assume is a high schooler headed off to the high school in the same direction yeah holding the phone in the exact same uh oh I don't know does it look like I'm recording you way or whatever but but to me and my my junior high daughter, yeah, he screams at full volume, uh, uh, "Holy fuck! It's a Jeep!" <laughs> and 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 I just run through like, is he mad at me? <laughs> no, it's a TikTok. Uh, right, right, there's right. no doubt. Which means it it's is a out there somewhere. It is a TikTok <laughs> and. <laughs> It's sadly the mids. It's not that good of a joke. <laughs> oh. But like, but but that guy, it, it is out there. A hundred percent. Okay. Well, if anybody can find it, I want to find it. If anyone's friends with high schoolers in the Austin area, <laughs> yes. then please scour all of your social networks so we can find the Jeep. Yes. Uh, Jeep. Uh, yeah, I guess it's more innocuous than I was hoping. I was hoping to <laughs> I was hoping I'd have to like you know set fire to someone's house or something. You can still do oh, all of you. This. You were gonna take like personal um, oh, no. to it. No, 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 no. I, I I didn't know. This is why I'm asking. This is therapy. Wait, so isn't so it? you would so so you you initially didn't think it was like a a social media. Oh no no, no. Thing? Both me and Josie burst out laughing. Uh, and and then it was only after that initial laughter that that I was trying to figure out like what was. What was that guy hoping would happen when he when he shouted and recorded took a that? shot? Yeah, what what's that? He just took a shot. He's like, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Let's no, just he see thought, what you know, he thought it was funny. Like, I mean, like, like your part of that joke is you have an awesome car, and he wants to be on. He wants to to recognize. Yeah, it, it, it in, sounded in, in, like he was adopting a derisive tone, though. You know, like it, it didn't feel like he was exactly well, nobody, encouraging. Right, no stranger who runs up and yells at you ever sounds like a compliment, right? Like yeah. if somebody if somebody ran up on you and said like you're famous, like like you would initially be suspicious of it because of how aggressive it was. Uh, well, yes, and and I would ask you to please not do that again. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's the next topic. Our next topic is horse barks. <laughs> this is a dumb, very short one, but uh, but but uh, my dog uh, Weimer on her joy. Uh, uh, she loves other dogs. She's okay fond of other humans, right? Yeah. So she has different barks. Uh, somebody knocks at a door, you get the, uh, I bet you could guess. Give, give me what you think the somebody is knocking at the door bark sounds like. No, I'll go ahead and let you guys okay. through this it's, one. It's yeah. super <laughs> aggressive, like intruder alert, like, rah, 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 rah. who the fuck is this? Rah, 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 rah. Oh, I feel like you have a better fidelity than that. Joy knocking at the door. What's the bark? Joy knocking at the door. Uh, joy, the knock at the door. Joy, what is the bark? She's got a barker on her. She's just like. Uh, like that. Okay, I'm just. So everybody now has the opportunity to make that their ringtone. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. However, as we drive around in the car, she likes people okay. Yeah. So, uh, but so so they, but she's not afraid of them, and she's not in like alert the family mode. Sure. So instead, she's what I'd like to imagine is it's some version of like ha human, <laughs> and so it's one bark, and uh -huh. and it's just like 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 I see you, you know, like 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 from Avatar. Sure. Uh, she's like Ruff. Yeah, just passing, Ruff. <laughs> uh, passing on the other side, right? Yeah. She loves other dogs because we've been taking her every single week to this dog camp she gets along with all the other dogs yep she's so excited 
she she gets this howly whiny like and so uh, as we pass people walking their dogs yep. it's it's all like that's <laughs> horrible. That's like it's like a meat cute. Yes, like, it's funny, right? <laughs> and it, it's something that causes, and I've never had this before. It's something that causes every single person we drive by to react by smiling and waving at me. So, gotcha. uh, 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 and not one of them has shouted, "Holy fuck, it's a jeep!" <laughs> uh, but, but the, but, 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 uh, but I had a unique situation on the way here because we're in rural Austin. Uh, it was a person riding a horse. Okay. Would you like to speculate what sound came out of the dog? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm going to skip the tutorial and go straight to the answers. So, so she, uh, she uh, at first, like, bolts over to that side of the car. And again, it's a Jeep, so it's open air. And she's, like, yeah. looking at it. And and for all she knows, like she's seeing a, her first centaur or yeah, whatever. This is a mythical creature. Correct. Yeah. And 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 she goes. <laughs> <laughs> so she's befuddled. Yes. No. I didn't know that dogs had question marks, but yes, they do. But there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing. Uh, that's 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 uh, that's all the stories I have from this week. What about you, uh, Bryce? What's our next topic? Next topic is. Fridges and rhinestones. I'm not going to get into how or why I have a bag of cash, but I have a bag of cash. Okay, it was of from all, your old timey robbery. I, uh, <laughs> it has a dollar, a dollar sign written on it. Yeah, yeah, it's he also dollar. carries around a, a, a bomb that looks like a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> the, the wire, the rope fuse, and on he's it. constantly dancing, exactly. tossing it from hand and to me, hand. And me and the rest of the Beagle Boys <laughs> are really gonna get it. <laughs> uh, no, and by the way, I already know the answer. Uh, the answer is uh, live gigs and conventions, where where uh, 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 cash. Uh, in my experience, yes. uh, cash happens. So I got a bag of cash, and uh, Ryan, we have talked about money that comes from conventions and stuff like yes. that. It's uh, harder to go through a bag of cash in our modern 2021 world than you might expect. Uh, yes, especially because if you spend enough of it, the police show up. <laughs> so you have to, you buy a lot of groceries, a lot of uh, 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 McConaughey's IPAs from the local uh, 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 grocer down the corner. Uh, bullshit stuff, in other words. So or, or, or you buy the blue truck that I bought my wife. Where, uh, by the way, you bought that in cash. Oh, dude, cash is magic. So it was listed. It said fifteen hundred runs great. I picked up the phone, called, and I said fifteen hundred, huh? He's like, yeah, it runs great. And I say, would you accept a thousand if I gave it to you in twenty dollar bills? No hesitation. He says yes, yep. because cash is magic. Well, it's a funny story about that. So uh, uh, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Ashley and I got this bag of cash, and uh, we've been using it to help around the house as we've moved into our, our home here in Austin. And so we do a little uh, a search of our finances last night, and we, we pick out some things that we want to fix in the house. We decide that a washer dryer and our fridge are, are due for replacement. And so uh, we should probably just buy it now, knowing that it'll be a delay on it getting there. And so uh, we figure out, and we can afford it out of our, our shared fund. But then we're like, I mean, we got this bag of cash. And so she's like, no, you're not going to just go to Lowe's with a bag of cash and try to buy a refrigerator and a washer and dryer. All right, real, real, real quick, uh -huh. put, put a pin in this. Yeah. I am not a lawyer. I'm not a tax advisor. I am not qualified in any way to say these things. But it looks to me an awful lot. Like you have two to three offices in your house that are dedicated only for your home business and that they occupy 40 to 45 percent of the entire real estate of the home. And that means that 45 percent of everything you spend that you could trace would be deductible. Or so I'm told. Probably should have talked to you before I did this. But, uh... <laughs> 
cash ain't so hot now, huh? <laughs> Probably should have. Probably should have put that one on the uh, yeah, okay. on, 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 on the company card because it would have made a lot of things a lot more easier. But I, I, I got to tell you, Brian, when I'm going there to the Lowe's, I kind of feel like like a bit of a baller. Like I've got a bag of cash on me, and I'm gonna yep. buy some appliances. Yep. It's a very weird, a weird zone because, uh, like, of all the things that a bag of cash is gonna buy, you think jewelry, cars, television, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, bling, bling stuff. Sure, yeah. like fancy things that you'd also, see. For, for the record, my favorite moment of the, of the day is somebody saying CPA here. Brian is correct. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> all right. So uh, trust me, I only get dumber from here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So I go to Lowe's, and we already have picked out what we want. It's very, very easy. Uh, real quick, the bag, like, does it have a giant dollar sign? It doesn't it. have a giant dollar sign. <laughs> Is it made of burlap? No, it's. it's do you do you do a tiptoe motion as you walk in? Yeah, there is there is just like the high end of the piano register plays. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so I go. And I finally find somebody. We pick out the things that I want. And uh, uh, I'm a very easy customer initially. And then she's like, cool. So uh, just go ahead and uh, stick your card in this card reader and we'll be good to go. And initially, in my head, what I wanted to do was the Wayne's World line of like, oh, no. Do you accept cash? <laughs> Except for the fact that then I got nervous about trying to grab like, you know, <laughs> Banded cash out of a bag, and I realize that's a lot more awkward in real life. So I'm just like, oh, I have, I have cash. <laughs> you know what's funny is how different things are when you're not in Vegas, because in Vegas, oh, all in of Vegas, this would be appropriate. Oh my god, no, no, no. In Vegas, like you do that at a Seven Eleven, you're like, oh, I'm sorry, can you break this? And you just like throw you a diamond. At that. Yeah, a diamond. <laughs> Uh, but no, at the uh, at the South Austin Lowe's, <laughs> things are a bit more sedate than Sin City. So she just looks at me and she's like, "Cash," and I'm like, "Yeah," because I think this is easy. Yeah. I, I think you this know. is like I hand her money and then that's it. And then because it's all scheduled to be delivered, uh, I think this is going to be a quicker transaction with cash than it would be with with a card. Instead, she's like, "Oh no, we don't take cash here. We have to go to another register up front." So now, as everybody walks into this Lowe's, the first thing they see is me, my bag of cash, cash. and this lady at the register. Is it a Ziploc bag? It's, it's not a Ziploc <laughs> bag. <laughs> okay. But it's if it was a briefcase, he would have said it's a briefcase. It's not a briefcase. Oh I don't have a briefcase full of cash. I have a bag silver, of cash. Yeah. Silver briefcase. With the black with leather. The, 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 you, you, put a, you put a, an incandescent bulb Ooh, in there so I'm it lights the front, up your face I'm when you open it. I'm in yeah. the front of this Lowe's. <laughs> and the lady pulls out a machine. Now, initially, I think this is a good machine that will make things go faster. I think it's a money counting machine. You think it's like that 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 gun that shoots money, <laughs> or the rainmaker. <laughs> He's like, let, it... let me try this real Excuse quick. Excuse me, let me put all your cash into the rainmaker, and we'll have a fun time. Me, Gilda, and the girls in the back. No, instead, it's not a money counter. It is a bill verifier, which means that every single one of the bills that I have in this bag of cash needs to go vroom, vroom, like as if it okay. were in a vending machine and you were getting Coca-Cola. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm picturing her pushing forward. Good old fashioned Chuck E. Cheese token exchange. <laughs> and you're having to zip them in one at a time. Uh, essentially, A, she has to reorganize each stack of bills, so they're all facing the exact same way, Ugh. and then she has to put all right, first twenty. One, I am disappointed 20, in you that you did not 20, already face your bills. Twenty. That's what you're upset at me about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. as, okay. a as a former cashier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. See, see, I'm not alone. I'm yeah. not alone. How dare okay. You? Yeah. Shame. 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 All right. I'm all trying right. to Good. buy shit with a bag of cash. Yeah. Well, <laughs> face your money. A bag of cash. Face your money. <laughs> face your oh money. Oh my god. I didn't know there was a bill ver. I didn't know bill verifiers existed. How, how many bills are we talking? You said it was twenties. What is the, what is the total we're trying? Like, oh, yeah, how, are we talking ten? Wait, wait, wait. Bills, probably a uh, 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 hundred, hundred, uh, fifty of them. Uh, uh, five, five. 
Look up wire cutter recommendations for fridges and washer dryers and then divide by 20. Are, are these smart <laughs> machines? Are these smart machines? No. She has to one by one. No, no. But are the machines that you're buying, are they smart machines? Uh, Smart well, enough to know. tell them like. Uh, no. Because it costs more. That's yeah. why I'm asking. Uh, uh, look, I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> the moment I even brought up the fact that there's a bag of cash, the one thing I didn't want to go into was how much cash. <laughs> it's a lot of cash. It's a lot of fucking cash. All right, it's a lot of fucking cash. And it's all in twenties. All right, all right. It's all in twenties. Right. It's four digits. Thousands of four dollars digits. in twenty. Okay. Wow. Thousands of dollars. I don't, I don't know, man. I got I was raised in Florida, so I don't know numbers, but like <laughs> I let, let's say yes, 250 bills. I don't know what that adds up to. That's a lot of bills. Five yeah. grand. All right. So uh I, slightly less. Slightly less, but we're in the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. So so yeah. she calls the pit boss. Pit boss comes over, <laughs> asks you so if you want a point, rewards card. At one point, here's something that I realized about Lowe's once I put this level of pressure on them. There are three competent people that work at any Lowe's. Yeah. <laughs> and then you know them immediately because when something serious happens, they all confer. <laughs> and then you realize who else is at the Lowe's. Because you see a lot of other people at, in blue vests. They are either incompetence that they don't trust anything with. Sure. And then a bunch of very helpful teenagers. Uh, and the helpful teenagers, they do not trust with that amount of cash to be counted. <laughs> the training for at least one of those categories is quite literally a five-minute meeting where they say, when somebody asks you a question, you point to a random direction and say, I think it's over there. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. Okay. And so eventually, the one lady who's one of the competent ones uh, is brought away because she is apparently also one of the only ones that speaks Spanish. She's also running the craps table. Uh, <laughs> and so they have a dude who comes in who speaks Spanish. Yeah. And so she has to be Are you doing away. this bit in Spanish? No, I'm not doing... No, oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. She, she just happens but to be bilingual. Were... I'm talking... No. Oh, now on. we're doing this. We're doing Senior no, Wednesdays. Right. No, <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Ask your grandparents. Uh... <laughs> Uh, so, uh, 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 she pulls a teenager in that they, apparently she trusts and she's like, literally just run this money through the weird, like, like verification sure. machine. And this child has never had as much pressure put on her in her entire life. Or has life. touched as much money as she is now touching. Which she is now holding in her hand, uh, and... She can't figure out how to slide a bill through a dollar bill sliding machine, literally. Real question. Just once, do you catch her eyes dart to the door? And like, like she's doing just a little <laughs> bit of math. No. Okay. But she does start talking <laughs> to the lady next to her. And then when the first attendant comes back to help me. She starts talking to the lady next to her and they start whispering. And it's at that moment that I realize that I am spending this much money in cash at a Lowe's wearing the t-shirt that I'm wearing right now <laughs> for, for the audio listeners. Brian, can you please reveal the, First word in the two-word shirt that I am wearing right now. In a jaunty font, it says cocaine and rhinestones. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm literally bringing out a bag of cash and buying thousands of dollars worth of appliances with a shirt that literally says cocaine on it. So the only way this gets better is if she casually asks, so where are you from? <laughs> And you have to uh, say like, Florida. Oh, South Florida? <laughs> but, uh, just like, you know, a couple miles outside of Miami. Uh, man, kudos. Uh, so they, 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 they let you have it? <laughs> yeah. Well, they okay. let you have it, all right. I mean, it's, it's legal tender for all debts, public and private. Although, apparently, like, uh, by way of all the security measures they have at a Lowe's, people are pulling shady shit at the Lowe's. What? Like, it was, it was, well, cause, like, why do you need to, like, uh, back in my day, you had the, you had the little pen? Maybe. And that was only for hundreds that you would like, like test fake bills. Yeah. But at the lows, they're, they're, they're testing every $20 bill I have. Wait, uh, 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 sorry. I feel like you're about to explain a scam I'm unfamiliar with. No, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I, I just know that they're guarding against it. And it took me buying a washer dryer and 
fridge. It's the refund scam. It's the refund scam. It's What's it's that? money laundering. You buy something. If you, go watch Good Girls on NBC, they spend a lot of time talking about this. But you go yeah. buy something and you go return it for cash, and you launder your dirty money through a place where they don't even check. This the sounds bills. even better than the laundering where it's like you buy a, a Home Depot gift card and use it to buy pornography. Is that laundering or is that just? buying porn <laughs> patreon.com slash great night <laughs> is where you need to go to support this very show and hey man, make sure we that my had, bag of cash runneth over we had a very special episode uh in the bonus episode of the patreon uh uh we, we, we did oh no this is this is a reason to get on the patreon right now aside from the foolhardy dream of our guest uh that if we get to three thousand dollars an episode we'll paint <laughs> the, green the green room, room green. green. <laughs> <laughs> As if. But uh, last week on the Patreon episode, we had your dad. Yeah, dude. Uh, I had no idea what to expect. Uh, it was a delight. A number of people said it was their favorite bonus thing we've ever done. Uh, I, it, I, it got me to scam my mom into becoming a patron. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know. We just went long form with your dad about his life. Uh, there are some very, very fun stories that I'm glad we now have this beyond the wall, hardest of hardcore places because he tells some stories about like pivotal moments of, of the family lore that involve things that probably should not be said in, in open company, uh, but exist on that show. It was great. It was great. Thank you very much to all of our patrons. Patreon.com slash great night. Uh, man, it just feels like the momentum keeps on building. We're having a blast. And we hope you guys are as well. Please become a patron and make magic happen. What do we do next, Justin? Uh, well, first, we bring on our guest, uh, friends of the show who have been here for a long time know that he is no stranger. Ladies and gentlemen, the Black Gritty. Owen, J.J. Stone, a.k.a. O Doctor! Huzzah! Founding, founding member. Founding, founding member. Founding member. Uh, the first to be kicked out. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> as, as soon as we got a network gig, it was like, listen, it's going to be more of a Brian and Justin situation. Are you Are you kidding? <laughs> he, he's the only one still on Twitch. I, I, actually, <laughs> he can kick us off. Gentrification is what we call it. Owen. It's been a hot minute. Uh, we we did a little bit of uh, mathematicking, and we figured out that the last time we saw you was when I was getting a a, a, a facial of sriracha. Yeah. yeah, that was oh such a sad day. Sriracha, sriracha, sad sriracha, day. sriracha. Um, We're sponsored by them. It was it was insane. And Soylent. It still hurts my heart to but, uh, think about your face. I mean, it hurt my face. I know, and and, <laughs> and the look in Bonnie's eyes. The look the disappointed. <laughs> You're like your children will see this someday. I, I, I had fear. She had to. Oh my god! All right, so it's on. It's on the screen now. God damn it! Uh, as, yeah, as there, Brian, there, I had there's wow, Jomo this in the shot background. really well. Uh, yeah, yeah we do, <laughs> you know we do good work here. <laughs> <laughs> look oh look, look at the embarrassment how out. sad everybody look, is for I, me. Because they can't believe it. <laughs> oh, oh. See? There's your oh, dignity, oh, Brian. Is playing while this is oh. happening. Oh. 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 You love it. You want some more of it. That's a wait, lot wait, of wait, don't, don't show the clip. That's my hand. Don't show that. That's, that was my hand. No. Rewind that. Show another angle. That wasn't... That was actually... I, I was forced into doing such. I, oh my I god. I was told, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm clearly out of my oh, mind. You uh, hilarious. Uh, Owen, uh, uh, we'll, we'll chat a bit more in, uh, in, in the uh, third part of the show, but for right now, we need you here as, as our beacon of hope, as our advisor as we go into our game. Uh, Bryce, do we have a game? Uh, we do have a game. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the games. Uh, newer listeners of the show uh, may not know. I, I had a podcast a few years ago. Do you guys remember that? Trending Trending Lemon? Of Trending course. Lemon. Yeah. 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 Uh, we did interviews and conversations while we did online quizzes. Well, I am reviving it for one night only. This is wow. the Trending Lemon Party. Yeah. Well, oh. <laughs> That's, uh, is that, uh, is that just, not we're good? We're just yeah. three older gentlemen <laughs> in a Trending Lemon. <laughs> Party. I'm glad is that not the good? Three of us I'm not could quite be sure. here. For yes, uh, such thank a you. good experience. So, uh, somebody cue up the car. For us. <laughs> um, so, uh, so wait, wait. One, hmm. one thing about the lemon party picture. 
<laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. This is a well, good icebreaker. Just, just a good icebreaker. If yeah. you're ever like on a first date or in a business meeting or something. Yeah. No, just work in the words tub girl. You, no, 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 no. Come on. Don't be fucking weird. Don't be weird. I'm just talking about the lemon party. Okay. Uh, just all right. Who's having the best time? Tub girl, <laughs> goat see. I'm just that's just a tip for everybody. Trending lemon party. Let's go. Just the tip. Wow. Just a quick question. That's fine. It reveals something about you. It's like a horoscope. It's I think it's for like Rorschach. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, earlier today I had Brian and Justin secretly take BuzzFeed quizzes, and we are going to give up. That was a BuzzFeed quiz. It was two of them actually. I, th I thought you. Mm, mm. I thought you custom wrote that. No. <laughs> so uh, we're going to give out points based on uh, if the other players know how they answered on those quizzes. Before we get to the nitty gritty, Brett, do we have a punishment today? Yes, I do. Damn it. Ooh. We're bringing back the Sriracha. No. No. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a choice. It's both physical. We can either do, uh, the loser has to do either 15 burpees Bleh. or. Or the loser gets a slow spanking. So, uh, with like uh, so, 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 loser chooses at the end. Yes. Okay. And uh, for, for clarification, with the contract I signed, I'm just a mediator in the game. As per se, I can't win and or lose, correct? Uh, you you can win. Okay. <laughs> I mean, but you I can't can lose. also you lose. Might be, you might be about to give a very but, but, slow but I, spank. But I can't. Hey, look, 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 look. Hey, spanking. My tan and spankings don't really go along too well together. <laughs> right. Especially my two. Hey, we'll, we'll figure it out. Although, let me just say that I'm not going to argue with Owen because we've done every other version of this show sitting down and... <laughs> Standing oh. up, he is Kingpin, and I am Twink Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 so uh, I, I will, I will be sitting out any any disputes that happen. I mean, my, my daughter's in the back too. I think she's bigger than Brian right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me bring out the big guns out here. All no, right, so 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 if I'm mm. if I'm reading this correctly, this is close to uh, the newlywed game or or any well, of those I couples things. I don't, I don't think I would say that, but it is very similar to a game where people <laughs> who are recently married play yeah, a game. Your, yes. your honor. Yeah. <laughs> that being the butt, Bryce. I personally wouldn't say that. But. <laughs> so we'll go through each of you's quizzes, either Brian or Justin's, and the other two players will have to guess the multiple choice answer that you that you picked. If you get a if you get it right, they'll get a point. Uh, oh, Doctor didn't take a quiz today. We didn't know, we didn't know he'd be on the show, so uh, yes. he's going to get a little bit of a leg up. So I say maybe try try hard, and you won't have to uh, worry too uh, much about birds. Uh, by the way, before we start, oh. uh, Owen is not kidding. His daughter is definitely taller than Brian, and I, I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm going to survive prom. Like I, I think like, she is she is she's got some height on her. All right. She's also got the afro too, so it kind of cheats. If you had your spikes. You'd be back in the game. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Right, I'm going to go get a horse and make my dog make a weird sound now. <laughs> yeah, my dog sounds like a, a home improvement. <laughs> that would be the best thing in the world. <laughs> All right, so uh, we will start with uh, Brian's uh, first quiz here. So I'm going to give you the question that we gave to Brian and the four multiple choice answers or the multiple choice answers. You, uh, Justin and Owen, you're going to have to pick. And then Brian, if you remember, we'll let you know. Otherwise, I've got your answers here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, is, this is how you know you found your, your life partner <laughs> is when they know to say, if you remember. You remember. <laughs> life partner. Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> wow. You guys just took the next step. You took the next step right here. <laughs> Clip so, that one. <laughs> so I, I'm also going to keep the uh, quiz topic hidden for you guys. So. Uh, you guys will have a fun time figuring out what these quizzes were even about. So gotcha. uh, this was the first question to Brian. Pick an NYC breakfast to start your day. Bagel and lox, bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll, chocolate protein shake, or a donut. Justin, which do you believe Brian picked? Ooh, man, I need glasses. Uh, uh, a bagel and lox, a yeah. bacon, egg, and cheese on a roll, chocolate protein shake. That kind of looks like a milkshake. Uh, or a donut. Yeah, I, I would say uh, 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 Brian has never struck me as, as a big breakfast guy. So I would say the bagel and lox because he would be able to chuck the lox if he didn't like it. Now, you want to know what? I'm going to go with the shake. I'm going to go with the protein shake. Justin is going to go yeah. with the shake. Uh, Owen, what do you think? Bagel and lox, bacon, egg, and cheese, protein shake, or a donut? As a person who had lunch with Brian today, 
and watched him sit across from me eating potato skins and wings as he ate oxygen. I will also say shake because he's watching that slim figure he's got going on. He is not trying to be like me, packing on the pounds. <laughs> All right, there we go. They both said- wings and potato skins. Don't question. Look, hey. No, I like this. You guys should argue more. <laughs> Ask him about his bag of cash. He has a bag of cash. All right, enough of you. you. Know talking about it. I'm going to talk about his bag of cash. This guy didn't call me or anything. You know what I mean? I could have done 20% off the top. I handled the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Any hoozy, shake. Any hoozy. All right, there we are. They both said shake. Brian's answer was... Bacon, egg, and cheese on a oh, roll. Yeah, dude, the holy trinity. Bacon, egg, that, and cheese. That picture is misleading. Brian would never eat something that looked that delicious. Uh, it's it's yeah, true. That he did. N- none of our participants got to see any of the pictures that oh, are involved. Okay. Well, in now, now we're in a whole kind of different ball game. I'm not yeah. looking at that screen anymore. Don't Just look at the screen. Just listen. listen. Yeah. Look yeah. into your audio heart. journey. Monitor. Screwed it all. All right, That's let's right. go. Keep going. All right, uh, Owen, we'll start with you with this one. Pick a morning activity. Walking in Central Park, visiting the Met Museum, visiting Coney Island, or visiting the Bronx Zoo. A morning activity. For for Brian? Yeah, for Brian in New York. Uh, walking in Central Park. I say walking in Central Park. Justin. <sighs> I, oh, Coney Island. Coney Island. That 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 fits the 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 Brian milieu. Shoot the freak. <laughs> Shoot the freak. Hey, what is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's a hard left turn. No, no, no. That, that's that, that's, that's a, a thing. thing. That's it a thing a, at Coney it Island. Is a thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just, yeah. And so well, you're saying just Brian wants to can shoot I, freaks. Can I change my answer now that I know that there's a problematic <laughs> there's exhibit you, do you called eat, Shoot the Freak? Do you even know your answer to this question? I mean, look, uh, I'll give you a hint. I proposed to my wife at one of these, and it wasn't Central Park. Oh, that's right. It was the Met. No, it actually was bum, bum, bum. Coney Island. Yeah. Wait, you guys got proposed yeah. at Coney Island? Wait, you didn't You didn't propose at Shoot the Freak? <laughs> you skipped no, that. No. You skipped she all the good stuff. stuff. It was actually later that night. It was actually in a youth hostel in Harlem. That's where I proposed to her. It was after oh, going to Coney street Island. Street cred. Yeah. That's great. You should have yeah, been in the Bronx. Right? Yeah. yeah. Huh. She's right. my life partner, Bryce. <laughs> and you know what? She's not... <laughs> unhappy <What>? about it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, this is I, not survivor, you mother. Ryan, <laughs> you just can't pit Ryan us against went each from other. you're my life partner accidentally to lashing out because because <laughs> Bryce did not it, it did not take it in. And, and Bryce this is like a Netflix <laughs> drop like a fucking fear uh, factor. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> and Bryce, I think you're looking out. If he turns on you that quick. <laughs> If he turned on you that quick, how true could his love be? Carry on. <laughs> New, right. Next question. Moving on. By, by the way, by the way, also you uh, revealing that uh, 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 you proposed in Harlem has uh, just revealed a greater truth for Curtis Larock. Who, uh, who is like one of our one of our our, our, our longest uh, uh, supporters of the Diving Club from Harlem and just like now has been made whole. Oh, now good. he knows why he's been attracted to this <laughs> right, show yeah, yeah. for so long. You, you can visit Harlem Shrine of Brian's proposal. There's a plaque on the floor there. <gasps> I wonder if that place is still there. <gasps> we should go back. We should go anniversary. Wait, you never. You, you would never go, go back, back, Marty. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we gotta go back. But by the way, if this story goes on too long, the Sandman's gonna just sweep us off. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> All right, That's question good. three. Uh, pick a midday snack, iced oat milk latte, dumplings, empanadas, or pretzels. Iced oat milk latte, dumplings, empanadas, or pretzels. Justin, I believe we're going to start with you first on this one. What is his mid-morning snack? Or his midday? Midday snack. So he doesn't like coffee, so it's not a latte. Um, I think the only thing I've seen that man eat of the four is a pretzel. All right, Justin's going to say pretzel Owen, we've got an iced oat milk latte, dumplings, empanadas, and pretzels. <laughs> He's, Owen okay, is now touching. is now now petting Brian <laughs> in a love and squeezing. I, I, Hey, if he's not going to be your Bryce, life partner, Bryce, yeah. I'm, I'm stepping in. You get can have him. Okay. Uh, Somebody's got to take him. <laughs> I was going to tell his daughter, we're staying here. <laughs> I'm going to go pretzel also. You're both gonna go pretzel, all right. Motherfuckers, did you not hear me what I got at Epcot on Friday? Oh yeah. 
And you got an empanada, empanada. at Food and Wine yeah. Festival. And you went at the evening time, not mid morning. So first of all, I've got <laughs> a, the mid morning snack. I've I've literally had to question the way that these questions are being formed to me. What grown man eats a mid morning snack? Like I'm a fat person, I eat a mid morning snack. You are not a mid morning snack type of person. It's throwing me all off. I mean, I mean, I mean, look, it was a multiple choice test, it and was... Miller Lite was not on the menu. What, <laughs> what else am I gonna do? I, Let's go. Not That's only did I, did. not only did I keep the pictures away from them, I didn't give them the pictures. I also did not even give them the headlines or the results of. No, their no, no, no. So. Literally, here's all the context we got, or at least that I got. Yeah. Uh, Bryce texting me, fill out this quiz. Don't tell anybody. I said please. <laughs> I said please. <laughs> fill out this quiz. Don't tell anybody is all I got. And then he also yeah. texted, also, if I ever needed a life partner, I would choose you. All right, we can move <laughs> past the life partner thing. Uh, last <laughs> next question. Uh, I'm going to start with one in this one. Pick an afternoon activity, seeing a comedy show, watching a Broadway show, bar hopping, or ice skating. Owen? Bar hopping. Bar hopping. They're Moving both on. saying bar hopping. Brian. Dude, if I'm going to go all the way to fucking New York, I ain't going to go for anything other than the one thing that New York does good, which is Broadway shows. Broadway. Oh. Two, yeah, three, three, four. Fuck you, Brian. <laughs> Fuck you, oh, Brian. I thought we were... If we were in New York, we'd definitely be drinking. We wouldn't go see a Broadway show. show. You, We'd find some cool bars and tell show? stories about him. I'm just looking over at Jomo, and I could see him like look at us, his guitar, us back to his guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Do Have you I ever seen I? a Broadway? Yeah, show? man. Yeah, I've seen a few. What's your favorite? Sober? What's your favorite? What's your favorite Broadway show? I'm sure the bar happened before the Broadway. <laughs> what's, your, what, yeah, what, what's, your, what's your show tune? Uh, your show tune uh, repertoire. What do you like? Uh, Scooby Doo. No. Uh, uh, what? What's the fucking what? Uh, uh, the you one, know that the one, one that takes place in ancient Greece with uh, Nathan Lane. The yeah. Tragedy tomorrow. Tragedy comedy for, tonight. for you, for here, for them. A funny thing he, yeah. happened on the way to the, to the forum. A yeah. funny thing happened on the way to Brian not seeing fucking Broadway shows. Because he was at the I bar. Think I, I Next shows, that's the only reason I would be at Broadway. Because you were drunk. I'm gonna go to bar. You Broadway were drunk. Break. Next question. All right. Uh, uh, before we get to the next question, Brett, what is the, the score so far? I, I think it's an so easy one. I'm so confused about the scoring for this. I uh, gotcha. Okay. Well, I know that <laughs> Justin has one point. That's right. And Owen has Owen zero has points. No, he has None. zero I have, points. I have a goose egg. Right. I didn't know if then Brian was getting points He'll, by them not getting points. No, no, no. Brian will be in the next round. Got it. All right. A few more questions here. Pick a dinner. Is it sushi <laughs> at Nobu, pizza in Little Italy, pita wrap from Halal Guys, or noodles in Flushing? Ooh. We're going to start with mm, uh, Owen on I, this one. Owen. I mean, for Pete's sake, you're killing me with the things and the things and the other <laughs> things. I'm just going to just jump off a bridge. Noodles and flushing. All right. He's going to say noodles and flushing. Get pizza anywhere. Justin. <sighs> so I would go with noodles and flush. Eh, no, I'd go with sushi and nobu. But uh, Brian. Mm. No, I'm going to go with... Uh, Pizza in Little Italy. <laughs> Sorry, can we say that again? A little pizza! <laughs> hey! It's just me, the pizza man. <laughs> ah, you want to get some pizza? Come on, Dad, I'm so little. I'm so little. I'm in little, little. <laughs> it's where small Italians are. <laughs> ring Come tone. on. Oh, my brother. R ring tone. Yeah. <laughs> You're ring tone. All right. <laughs> and a little pizza! <laughs> Pizzas are so small. <laughs> Little, little. All right. Little. Small. So small. <laughs> All right, really Brian, mean. they said pizza and noodles. The answer we were looking for was. <laughs> it's got to be sushi, bro. Oh, my God. Dude, my favorite experience was going to Ninja, a whole you... themed restaurant where you went down into a cellar and it was a dark room and people in all black clothing would jump out and go, hi, and just scare you constantly. And then you <laughs> ate awesome Chinese, uh, I don't know, ninja food. Why, that, that is yeah, not Japanese. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wow. And so far, sushi. What? Sushi. Between what I did and what you did, yours was more racist. <laughs> 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 all right, they both got that one wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm still wondering why they were wearing all black, but I mean, that's just me. Next question. <laughs> all right, two more in this round. Uh, we're going to start with Justin. Pick a sweet treat to end the day. We got Levain cookies, Ooh. taiyaki. Magnolia Bakery, banana pudding, or milk bar ice cream? No. 
We got cookies, taiyaki, I, banana pudding. I heard the whispering of, oh, no. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'm going to say cookies. I don't know what the, this this whole experience is. Bryce is his life partner now, and Questions. and like, and I don't know any of his answers. <laughs> <laughs> Brian doesn't know what shoot the freak is. Right, like, right. I don't even know. What, 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 what is, is with this world? Show hey, it. Nobody will take a bag of cash. I don't nobody understand will take nothing. A bag of cash. I didn't know I'm trying to buy a fucking yeah. washer dryer right. at Lowe's. I'm going to say the ice cream because I'm scared for my life. All right, Brian, the answer, they said cookies and milk bar ice cream. The answer we were looking for was ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> Owen. You're now tied. Yes, sir. You're now tied. Yes, I'm back in the game. I was scared for my life. All right, last question of the quiz of this quiz here for Brian. Finally. Yeah. Pick a way to end the night. Oh, finally. Sipping espresso martinis at a local bar. No. Dancing the night away at Lavo. L -O -L -A -L -A. Oh, that's a classic thing that Brian loves to do. <laughs> <I> loves it. <laughs> Just got to dance it out. S yeah. Strolling across the Brooklyn Bridge or getting a massage in Chinatown. We are going to start with Owen on this one. Owen, martini, uh, espresso martinis, dancing the night away, the Brooklyn Bridge or a massage in Chinatown. Does it or does it not end happily? <laughs> That's the only question I have for you. Look me in the eyes. I'm, 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 I'm not going to look you in the eyes. You're not allowed to bully him into looking you in the eyes. No. Bully? I just wanted to see his eyes. I Stop. You were menacingly <laughs> encroaching him. <laughs> this is a dynamic of the show I couldn't have planned if I wanted to. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm asking simple questions. I'm going to say... <sighs> <laughs> Brooklyn Bridge. He's a man. He's married. He loves his wife. Maybe he wants to enjoy his family time. That Justin. Man is getting a massage, getting jerked off. <laughs> getting a massage, get a little jerked off. Getting a massage, get a little jerked off in Chinatown. <laughs> if that's the answer, I, 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 I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> well, the answer we were looking for was. Fucking boozing it up, man. No! Espresso martinis. Fuck you. Fuck you, a chocolate martini. Yeah, it sounds awesome. I mean, it's literally what I did on Friday night. Did you not hear that part of the story? I went to Ireland and I got a Guinness milkshake with uh, chocolate bits in it. Yes. Bailey's? I do, too. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So all right, let, let, let me slaughter Justin. Wait, 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 what's the bait, score, bait, well, Brett? Yeah, Brett, what's the score? The score is it's a squeaker, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the squeakity squeaker. We've got Brian with no points as usual. Yes. Uh, we've got Owen with one point. He's just bringing up. He's the number rear, one. You know what I mean. Right. Mm -hmm. And Justin also has one point. There we yes. go. Now this quiz that we just did. This was from Elia, a community contributor at BuzzFeed. Spend a day in New York to reveal your inner animal. An oh. What do you guys think uh, he got as his animal? I have no idea. Just reveal it. All right. The animal that he Squirrel. got was Bryce Castillo. A hummingbird. Oh. You're energetic, extroverted, and free spirited. You know how to make a good first impression. Just Wait. sucking on. That's free actually stuff. legit. Actually, yeah, That's not bad. Legit. Not bad. Yeah. 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 All right. Sucking on okay. free stuff. All right. I, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. There we go. Free sucking stuff. on free stuff. Oh, that's, that's me. No. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sucking on the free that's stuff. That's what hummingbirds do. They suck Since on the, the free stuff. The day I was born. That's what they do. All right. Let's get this Wait, What around. animal doesn't follow the axiom? I'm sucking on free stuff. Well, first uh, of all, uh, uh, fucking uh, uh, wasp parasite larvae. 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 Uh, and lar what do they feed on? The expensive stuff. The squirrels are. Out there eyes nuts. Of, of okay yeah trash pandas are in your trash yeah these are the only things in there sucking on Do free stuff they're using their nose they're sucking out the sweet juice of the nectar of life don't question wait me, the Steve free Drew. stuff or the sweet the sweet stuff both hey, of them like, yeah. right. coast to coast key west to key largo bryce <laughs> <Okay>. it <laughs> Our next our next quiz was taken by Justin. So, Justin, you're going to be uh, 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 against these guys here. First question. <laughs> I don't know. First question. When you put your tra when do you put your trash bins out at the curb? The, the possible answer is the morning of pickup, as soon as humanly possible, whenever I remember, whenever I'm done partying, when is pickup day and the night before pickup? As soon as humanly possible. This is a responsible man who gets shit done. Right. When he needs to buy a refrigerator, he doesn't do it on layaway, if you know what I'm saying. Wink. 
He doesn't trade sexual favors for the fridge? No, he uh, gives them. What would do the that. fuck do you think layaway <laughs> means? He would definitely do that. I, 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 think it's the, I think it's fodder for a funny joke on our comedy <laughs> podcast, god damn it. I, I'm sorry, no. All right, yeah, yeah, you have to understand. Once you pass the line of 35, all of a sudden people start saying shit yeah, in ways yeah, that you yeah, never yeah, thought yeah, it was yeah, used. Yeah, like, yeah, I didn't know if layaway has undergone a Gen Z transformation. The the on TikTok, they're like, layaway. The real question is, what do you have? To do to get that bag of cash, am I right? <laughs> Giving out massages and hand. He's, I'm sorry. I'm, he's okay. sucking up that My free end. stuff. That is. That's what he's doing. That's right. All right, uh, Owen, that free stuff, baby. Uh, when does he put his hummer bird? That's, yeah. <laughs> the night before. You say the night before pickup. All right. The answer we were looking for was the night before. Hey! Hey! That's a point for Owen. I apologize. No, you I can say suck I it on the show. I just don't want to get spanked on TV because I'm <laughs> not even <laughs> slow spanked. Not even slow. Okay. Spanked. Actually, slow would make it even worse because then I feel like I'm in an old retro movie and it's just hey, a slow. Hey, all right, all right. Next question. Next question. All right. All right. Next question. Uh, <laughs> if your trash doesn't get picked up right on time, what do you do? Do you go no sweat? I'm sure they're on their way. I took a picture and have an email already typed. Nervously pace and call my landlord. Snarkily call waste management. Throw it on the ground. Or this is the third time this year I'm writing a letter to the city. Okay, first of all, there the difficulty of... level on this is unfair because there's like 12 answers for all these. Yeah. Also, a bit weird that I have a name for every single one of these answers, but I know that the one that is labeled Justin is no sweat. I'm sure they're on their way. All right, and he says no sweat, Owen. I also would like to complain the fact that this has seven or eight. I can't really count it's answers six. Six, <laughs> available yeah. as opposed to you. Brian was forced because Brian's not as smart as Justin. Is that what you're no. trying to say? What are we doing here? Mm. And it's no sweat is the answer. I mean, no sweat. They both said no sweat. Their answers of no sweat. Oh. <laughs> They're correct. Yeah. <laughs> I love the confidence. I would love, I would love to see Owen on like a big time prime time TV show doing that bit where he where he just shouts out before he can give the answer. He goes correct. <laughs> let, let me tell you something, okay? I love you, but this is my seed you brothering right here. I'm, 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 in, I'm in his brain, man. I'm right. in his brain. All right. <laughs> All right. Here's another one. You're ordering takeout. What are you getting? Are you getting Thai? Pizza. Uh, does 7-Eleven deliver big bites? No, they misspelled rib, rib tibs. Uh, uh, anything, anything that won't get cold on the way here, whatever is cheap and quick, or liquor. <laughs> now we're going to start with Owen on this one. Uh, you're ordering takeout food. What do you get? What does Justin get? A tie. This is, a, this is an actual... This is a this is a confusing one. Yeah. yeah. Especially because like I don't know which one of these accept bags of cash. <sighs> you motherfucker. There's a significant number of like of <laughs> of concrete and ambiguous answers. We got Thai well, this just says Thai, so just all Thai people, I guess. Uh, but also questions of if, <laughs> if you can get big bites from 7 Eleven. I didn't make Hold the quiz. On, can we walk this back? Can you explain to me how Thai means all Thai people? Well, I think it's pretty self explanatory to be honest with you. <laughs> I mean, it's not like it says Thai food, it just says Thai. <laughs> What the fuck would it be? <laughs> and so, wait, hold on. Wait, Bryce, 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 what is the question? What is the question again? Uh, the question is, you're ordering takeout. What are you getting? You're ordering takeout. And so, you think <laughs> that in that context, the shorthand Thai is all Thai people <laughs> and not Thai food? Somebody's getting well, a happy ending. I'm just saying. I think we're I almost mean, at if, if liquor is an option, <laughs> then why wouldn't all Thai people be an option? I hardly even know her. All right. Uh, we're looking for an answer from Brian here. What's okay, the food? Brian's got oh, uh, uh, yeah. No, it's got to be anything that won't get cold on the way here. Anything that won't get cold. Owen? I don't have Thai people on layaway. <laughs> <laughs> layaway. I pay bags of cash for layaway. them. Layaway. <laughs> <laughs> Only because I have to break this tie, and you were just break this tie. Break this tie. Let's uh, see. This oh is the my god! Oh! Oh! Shit. You're <laughs> gonna break this tie. <laughs> it's so deep. It's what so deep. Owen, Owen breaks this tie. <laughs> 
you top went, clip on Pornhub. You, you went, <laughs> you went, you you went on for three minutes about pizza, the pizza, the pizza. Maybe it's in the back of your brain. I'm gonna say pizza just to try and shake up the monotony. All right, he's gonna say pizza. Justin's answer was. Uh, whatever is quick and cheap. That's no point. Oh. Yes. All right. All right. Uh, there we go. Let's Excuse go to- me. I believe I have a Broadway show to go attend. Got <laughs> <laughs> right. to remember it. You're at the white claw. You're at a party. What are you doing? The answers include having a beer and mingling, looking for my friends and taking care of them, drinking and making people laugh, mixing the drinks. I also brought snacks. Bringing more beer or getting drunk and fighting okay, someone. Come on, drinking I, and making I, I, people I will, laugh. I, I, I will say that I identified with multiple of these. Yes. And, and I had to pick the, the, the best of mine. But, but, but one of them is the most accurate, and it has to be that at every party I have seen you drinking, mm. you have been never just drinking. You have only been drinking and making people laugh. So that is the most true. If you said anything other than that, you're a liar. Uh, and, 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 and I demand that you write down your confessions for the, the confession verification machine that I'm inventing. Before I give my answer, I'll give a caveat. I mean, I've seen him out mangling with people. He's yeah. not always funny. What? No. So, I mean, oh, no, 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 no. not always making people laugh is my point. I mean, well, no, no, no. I mean, he's he's like inappropriately forcibly tickling people. Oh, okay. The, it's not good. Oh. Oh, gotcha. He's making uh, he people is, laugh. He is They're not having a good time. Laugh. Yeah, I, 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 I can see to the same answer. All right. You're also going to say drinking and making people laugh. Apparently. The answer we were looking for was <laughs> drinking and making people laugh. Hey! Uh, let's see here a few more. What was your favorite subject in school? Of course, we asked this to Justin. Math, art slash band, English, history, science, or passing period? What is passing I'm period? assuming period. it's like a study like, Yeah, that's some noise. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 passing period. Yeah, some, oh, excuse me, my passing period is coming up. I was going to pass it. I didn't know going Passing also, period. Also, I, I didn't have... A free period. Yeah, I, I never know, did either. But it would have been your favorite. It, I mean, it might have been. Oh, if it existed, I would have fucking loved it. Right. Well, that's what I think you picked. All right, Brian says. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like it's like five things, and the last one is uh, uh I don't know a the back rub. Awesomeness. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Owen. Uh, I'm gonna give you way more credit than anyone should ever give, and say science. Oh, he's gonna say. He science. doesn't need the credit. He, he he's already graduated. That bag? He's a magician. I'm not a magician. I know, but you tried. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm joking. When did that happen? He's oh. flipping cars and he's selling magic tricks and the thing for kids in Florida, back on the corners when he used to coast to coast Key West to Key Largo. Uh, what is the answer <laughs> to the question? <laughs> Frank, wait, Hold damn it, Frank. Pause it. Pause, damn pause, it. pause <laughs> everything. Pause <laughs> everything. <laughs> I want to break Did down. you believe at some point <laughs> in my life I was a street magician? <laughs> I thought you sold like <laughs> cards and games and things out of a warehouse or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, actually, yeah, no. Oh, that is true. Actually, it, yeah, it, he worked oh, in a warehouse. It, it's, it's not technically wrong. It is spiritually incorrect. <laughs> then what, what did you do in a warehouse? I, okay, I, I, he I, assembled magic tricks that were sold, and then I put them in the in 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 the post office. So somebody box. would say, "Hey, what's a good magic trick?" And he would say, "Well, as an expert in this, I would advise you to get this magic no, trick." No, I would not and, do that. And if, I, I would I would see the tricks that were sold. Okay. I would put the thing in the bag and I would send it away to the person that bought it. I had it, no expertise in magic so, at all whatsoever. So he was scam schooling before scam schooling. No, I was. You're being thinking a, of a Brian. Retail. I was the fucking uh, teenager counting my twenties at Lowe's. But okay. for fucking <laughs> any, for any online any, magic. You're, if you're watching this later or, or listening to it later, rewind it. Deduct thirty five percent of what I said. I'm accurate. Okay. <laughs> you're Deduct not accurate. You said. I said. You I said. I said. I was on the street corner trying to hustle people. Is the is the is the, is the, is the uh, the place in the street corner, the building you were flipping cars in? Yes, Bryce, of course it was. What and then is it was the magic answer, Bryce? The answer we were looking for was <laughs> history. Oh, Did anybody? Oh, you don't know about me, 
motherfucker. <laughs> you don't know about me. Hempreys <laughs> obviously messed up because you were selling tricks for kids on the corner. I, I know what you were tricks doing. For kids. I know what you were doing. Okay, you can read don't for fucking revisionist history all you want. Okay, I know history. you. Okay, right. check the tape. The tricks are already for kids. All right, next exactly. question. Yeah. <laughs> You're already, or suddenly you're at a store and suddenly you have to poop. What do you do? <laughs> you just poop. Do you find <laughs> the nearest empty bathroom? Run and find any place to poop, even if it's outside. Find the nearest bathroom, not empty. Uh, use my beer glass. <laughs> hold on, hold on. The difference between number one and three, I'm intrigued by. <laughs> like, like, is is it is it like the uh, uh, the prodigy smack my bitch up video where he just kicks in the door and someone's taking a dump and he just grabs them and pulls them out and then my, number one, my favorite prefix to any point <laughs> is this like the prodigy smack my bitch up video <laughs> dot dot dot. Nothing that comes after that is not great. Great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, I, I would. I would presume when I read it. Yeah. I. Mm. I presumed it as both are the same panicked person, but one person kicks open the door and screams, "Anyone in here?" And then if they hear, "Yeah," then they run out. Okay. Mm. Where's the worst place you've had to take a shit? Uh. <laughs> this is too long to think. Uh. Are there that many? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. Okay. Well, uh, let's okay. let's not right. even bother with that question. Let's get this question here. This is what Owen. we like to call a breadcrumb. <laughs> <laughs> a breadcrumb for later episodes. Yeah. Oh. I, mean, I mean, I mean, like all of a sudden it's like you spoke some words, and all of a sudden it was March Madness in my head, <laughs> and I had to go through. I pooped it out. It was it was ninety five, and I was in over there. <laughs> Obama's filling out a bracket. <laughs> yeah, like, right? well, yeah, you know. <laughs> Um. He's gonna find the nearest empty bathroom. He's not gonna poop in his beer glass. He's not gonna drive home. I really don't know why they put to beer to hold glass in. on this question either. Beer glass is a very dis a shockingly disgusting answer for buzzers. <laughs> and, and who just has one on him? You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Funny you should ask. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, uh, Brian said, "Find the nearest York, empty bathroom." Should... Owen, we need your answer. <laughs> I'm the nearest bath. Also, don't you still go to the bathroom to take a poop in a glass? I mean, do you, uh, you, you're not I mean, going to be all like. I, uh, if, it's uh, a, if it's a beer glass, hey, you can Jennifer, hold that up thing your dress. Just uh, know what you got to go, you know? Now, no, I, mean, I feel like that is like, that's like a party trick to yeah. shit in a glass. How Magic. big is the glass? Magic. What? I, I may need to revise my answer. Uh, now, Brian said nearest empty. Owen, oh, you said, do you mean nearest or nearest empty? Just to make sure, just to confirm. We've got the nearest empty bathroom and the nearest bathroom. And the, they're nearest, very similar. Is he, are you pooping in people's laps? <laughs> no, no, no. The, the, the way I envisioned it is somebody runs into a bathroom, says, is anybody in here? And yeah, they if have there to hear nothing for them to go shit. Other occupants at other devices. If somebody says, <laughs> yup, me, find, then. Find the nearest bathroom. Okay, find the nearest bathroom. The answer we were looking for was. Find the nearest empty bathroom. Oh, Thank you. Now, to be, uh, uh, to, to be honest, Indoors that is what bathroom. I answered. But I, in reality, would have said find the nearest bathroom. Because that just sounds uh, weird. Because the uh, I don't give a fuck. I will shit next to anybody. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Where's the weirdest place you ever took a shit? Uh, hey, hey, man, we, did, we don't have time for this. Two more questions. Two more questions. All right. How full are your bins when you take them to the curb? Our answers include full. The lid is open. Fucking garbage questions right. in this one. Where do you find out why? Full. The lid is open because it's slightly overfilled. Overflowing. I forgot last week. Compost and recycling full. Trash is one half full. Full, comma, no room to spare. Three quarters full, but the glass bottles are overflowing, or three quarters full? Three quarters full, this motherfucker, he gets it out every single week on time. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Three quarter portion. Go back to the... <laughs> yeah. All right, so Brian's going to say three quarters full. Uh, we got full, but the lid is open because it's overfilled. Overflowing, I forgot. Compost and recycling are full, but the trash is half full with no room to spare. That, God, this... I, this is so many. So it is okay. so many lot. words. This no. is a lot. I'm, I'm, it's too much. Uh, I'm not really sure. I was busy selling my podcast cereal to the New York Times. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Three, three quarters full. You're also going to say that's a normal quarters. answer. That's two. All right. They've both said three quarters full. The answer we were looking for was. Uh, 
compost and recycling oh. our full trash is half full. That's no point. I literally had just brought my trash out the night before. That's uh, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, last question before we get into the uh, points. Do you let other people use your bins? The answers include, if you ask first, I'll probably say yes. Uh, all caps, no! I would, but it's too full. Uh, of course my trash is your trash. Uh, absolutely not, they're my bins, or if it's something small. Florida man, Florida man, doing the things a Florida man can, letting you use his trash all the time, Florida man. And that is, of course my trash is your trash? Yeah, I mean, whatever's closest to the song I just sung. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of really redundant yeah, answers that's on this what he wants. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As his lawyer, that's what he wants. <laughs> yeah. if, oh, if it's something small. If it's something small, okay. Partial Florida man, probably lives in a Keys. Like if somebody's trying to <laughs> dump a... <laughs> going coast to coast from, from Key Largo to the U.S. US. <laughs> What's he like? I, it's not important. I'm, He's I'm got not, lots of drugs. Wait, I'm waiting for my bling to just sing out. All right. The answer we were looking for was... Of course my trash is your trash. That's a Brian Poy. Hey. Yeah! All right. Hey, we, hey, are, hey, hey. we are at the end of the game here. Brett, what is our score? Our score is... Brian, you have... Four points. That's a lot yeah. of points. That's a good amount That's of points. a lot of points. Hey, That's Owen, nice. it looks like you have four points. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Justin. <laughs> Justin. I, do, I don't remember. Did Justin do good in the first round? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Justin. <laughs> Motherfucker. Guess what, Justin? What happened, Brad? You have you better, one. You better get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I don't know. Justin's yeah. got one point. All right. If I remember correctly, <laughs> punishments are not for winners. They're only for whoever loses. So yep. the persons with the least amount of points is... It's gonna the be... loser. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't have another Wait. question? Uh, no, no, we, we had another work. question. There's got to be another question. Have another he got another shot. <laughs> Are we doing one more question? Uh, one more question does not equal three points. We yeah. always do one, one point. last question. We, okay, here's one last question. Uh, uh, I'll we, tell you what. If, if, I got it. There we go. We if, if legitimately winning quizzes was actually the <laughs> no. point of this show, <laughs> then I'd never do Stop anything like bad right ever. Now it's you trying to avoid a spanking. That's what I'm Yes, it's what I am. Jesus Christ. He's really. It's really pushing Justin around. <laughs> All right. Here's what we'll do. All right. I'm calling an audible.com. Here's what we'll do. Uh, the, the This quiz is called Answer Trash Related Questions to Find Out Which Garbage Can You Are. This is from Kevin uh, uh, Bud uh, from the uh, community at BuzzFeed. Uh, we are going to uh, ha have you all guess what you think Justin's uh, result on this quiz Wait, was. I had to answer how's two that, quizzes. We can't that, get another. How is that going to help Justin? They're all long. They're all who's ever closest by science will get five points. How about that? Uh, all right. Uh, uh, now that he's, he's I don't, I'm not good at math, but that just sounds ambiguous <laughs> to me. I, I okay, fine. He's this an IKEA trash can. All right, Brian's going to say an IKEA trash can. Justin, you're going to guess as well. I'm going to say. A, uh, a a a big old dumpster. <laughs> a big oh, old okay, yeah. big old dumpster. Oh, and what kind of trash can do you think? Excuse me, garbage bin. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much <laughs> aggression in this <laughs> last forty-five minutes. As as a grown man who has played games on this show for over a decade, I would like to say. Whatever Brian just said. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so he's also going to say oh, an IKEA game theory. Crash game can. theory. Mm. Now, this is dangerous because you are putting both of you together in the same we, boat. We, we are. Yep. We are. All right. Uh, the answer that Justin got on this quiz was you're a glass bin. You're energetic, the life of the party, and you mm. make a lot of noise mm. anytime someone puts one beer bottle in you. Mm. That's like a that's like a big old dumpster, right? Speaking of glass beer bottles, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna seems glass, like your seems like, like your glass is half empty there, but, brother. But let's be clear here. Let's be clear here. There were two choices. Right. He wanted oh, this. Yeah. He wanted. You want yeah. you want you want the spankings or do you want the burpees? There. All right. Well, I'm gonna, Fifteen. I'm gonna, all right. Well, oh, Justin doing is burpees. doing burpees. Right. Let's bring on to the stage. Please make a lot of noise for two. friend of the show, super talented <laughs> musician. Position. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jomo! Jomo! 
This is a long time to do burpees. Five, God, how many burpees does he have to do, please? All right. How uh, many burpees does he have to do? Six, 15. Uh, yes. 15? Yes. Jiminy but, criminy. Hey, you know wait, he has to do it another 30 one, minutes, back. right? He has to do one for every Brett 20. Seven, he tried Brett to pass at right Lowe's. Uh, the, uh, 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 how do you want us to set everything up, Joe? Yep. He'll be in the center right there. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. What's the count, Brett? You've got it. Brett, you're I mean, counting. Is, what is this? This is fun to watch. Count? It's good. We can keep it going. Five more. Five more. Five more. <laughs> there you go. All right, there's one. God, world's number one fitness podcast How often do right you do here. Well, All right, that's two. Seems like he knows what he's doing. got to change the yeah. show to form. great strength. Yeah. yeah, get that thing. There you go. <laughs> God God lay away. Oh, thanks. Lay away. This is out of bounds. <laughs> this is, I, I, uh, I don't approve <laughs> of, of what Owen is doing. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, is. Justin Robert Young. Yeah. An extraordinary sport. Now give him one uh, someday I'll take him to a Broadway show. All right. Uh, Jomo, is there anything we should know about this? <laughs> you, you all right, man? Hey, Jomo. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? I was loving that, man. Uh, you, do you do a lot of burpees? <laughs> Recently, yeah. <laughs> Recently, it's, uh, it's funny you brought it up. Indeed, I have. You don't seem oh. like it really affected you. Oh. You seem seems normal. Like it's you, amazing what you can be uh, uh, pushed to do when yeah. the opposite is slow spanking. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like having two. two oh no! Jo all right, all right, all right. All right. We're gonna oh, clear no. the stage it's, and give it to Joe. It's like you, you say the word slow spanking, and it's he's like a moth to a flame. I know, <laughs> I know. It's yeah, great. it is. He he can't help himself. Uh, he just <laughs> loves it. Uh, 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 Jomo, you guys had a hell of a party on yeah, Friday. We had a good time. Thanks for coming. Uh, uh, everybody, yeah, give a round of applause. Uh, if you're not on the Patreon, you should be because you guys are doing some really, really great stuff. Uh, this song that you're about to play, normally I play Koi. Uh, oh, no. But uh, uh, this is a song that actually means a lot to me. In fact, uh, uh, the I, first I, time. I, I, I think to all of us. Like, yeah, like 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 no joke. Like uh, like uh, uh, the last time I remember seeing this live was at one of our live events, and there was like a wave of electricity, and people ran out and started dancing. It was really really great. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I uh, uh, the first time I think you guys were ever on any of our shows was in Brian's spare room yeah. back in the day, and uh, you guys did a bunch of guy in the buffalo stuff, and then it was like, hey, what? Well, I mean, you're already all set up. You want to play other stuff? This was one of the songs, and it struck me so much that I opened the jury podcast with this song for the entirety of the run because I loved it so much. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, yeah. all right by mine. All right. Hells yeah! Is it coming through all right, Bryce? Well, on the day that we met on the internet, I asked her for a little photograph. Well, she sent it on over to me. She said, I know it's ugly. And I said, girl, ugly ain't the heavy. Look at you. Well, you got blue teeth and you only got two teeth, but I kind of like to see you smile. And it appears that over the years, you turned into a big old steaming pile. She said, yeah. No, I ain't no supermodel. I said, you ain't a hand model, baby. Oh, but that's fine. Fine. Because you're pretty ugly by most people's standards. Girl, but you're all right by mine. All right. Well, it was on our first date. I showed up about eight, and she came to the front door. I said, I'm going to wait right here while you go put on a little makeup. And she said, do I need to put on more? I was like, you probably ought to, yeah. Because you got that one crazy eye, that one hazed over lazy eye. But I kind of dig that ugly grin. And maybe it's your dermatitis, girl, or maybe it's your gingivitis. Either way, none of my friends ever ask about your twin. She said, yeah. 
I know I ain't no superman. I said, I ain't gonna argue with that, baby, but that's fine. That's fine. Cause you're pretty ugly by most people's standards. Girl, but you're alright by mine. And maybe I never told her that she looked pretty. Yeah, but you can never say I lie. And maybe she's ridiculously hideous to look at. Y'all, that's just only on the outside, yeah. Cause she got blue teeth, she only got the two teeth. Well, I kinda dig that ugly grin. Even though she sort of looks like she fell off a dirt bike and landed right on her chin like eight or nine times. She said, I know I ain't no supermodel. I said, at least you're self-aware, girl, and that's fine. That's fine. Cause you're pretty damn ugly by most people's standards. Girl, but you're all right by mine. And she said, yeah, I know I ain't no supermodel. I said, what a ridiculous understatement, baby, but that's fine. It's fine, 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 cause you're pretty ugly by most folks' standards. Girl, but you're all right by, honey. You're all right by, baby. You're all right by, you all right by mine. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Jomo. Ladies and gentlemen, Jomo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Can I just say this, Jomo? It has been an absolute pleasure that you keep coming back to this show and just singing songs. Yeah. It's great. It, it, folks really, really dig it. And I think based on the bits and cheers and, <laughs> uh, and everything that's happening right now, folks enjoy it too. Uh, uh, but also, I'm glad you brought this up because Justin and I were talking about this. We're afraid that you might perceive that you're too valuable to be on the show. Let us assure you that everything good that's ever happened in your life has come from us. Oh, yeah. yeah. So oh, stay yeah. right here. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And okay. if you don't, some slow spankings <laughs> <laughs> might be in your future. <laughs> oh, apparently, it's just for me. It's yeah. just for me. It's, <laughs> it's only the threat of it's it's happening it's to you only for that me. gets him going. Yeah. Holy yeah. cow, look at this. <laughs> This is amazing. Uh, yeah, no, I, okay. Yeah. No. Oh, here we go. Yeah. 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 It's, it's you cool. Wouldn't, you I'll wouldn't take, spoon with me, I'll, so I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll take the burpees. I'll take the burpees. I'll do the burpees with my guitar on. <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, uh, holy this, crap! Literally, like, like the, the 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 GDP of some small country is just exploding. <laughs> this is happening room. right now on screen. It's amazing. Uh, I'll just come every week and play that song. <laughs> uh, that's, apparently, people. Love it. That's it. Yeah. Uh, 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 so, so that's one that we are intimately familiar with and love uh, uh, quite a bit. Uh, are, 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 have we heard this next one before? I don't. I don't. Probably not. not okay. Lot, not a lot of people have. It's out there. Yeah. But that doesn't mean anyone's listening. Is it about the Florida Keys? Uh, not. No. It's not about the Florida <laughs> okay. Keys. Right. I, in fact, uh, uh, I think it's a little song about a haircut. It's just about a haircut. About oh, a haircut. right on. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Woo. Should I tune? You know, you think I should tune? Yeah. No, I don't know. Is this a minute? It does sound a little out. I don't know. Okay. I got a fresh cut from my baby on a Wednesday night. Yeah, she can take it off the top. She always gets the sides just right. But when the day is done, we've trimmed the way our trouble. Thursday might just come along and burst our little bubble, but right now I feel all right. Oh, I'm looking kind of out of sight I got a fresh cut from my baby on a Wednesday night I got a fresh cut from my baby on a Wednesday night she knows what I like oh lord she keeps it high and tight 
She's got skills with the shears. She's the queen of the clippers. She always knows my name, and I don't even have to tip her. But I think I still might. Oh, just to be polite. I got a fresh cut from my baby on a Wednesday night. That's my solo. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Well, I sit down in the chair, looking kind of shaggy. I pop back up looking fine. I ain't trying to be braggy, but I'm looking right. Oh, I'm looking kind of slender for my high. Baby, on a Wednesday night, on a Wednesday night. Woo! Mm. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. Why not? You guys just played a couple shows in Austin. What do you have upcoming? You know, uh, we're going to play out at a little place called Pooties. You ever heard of Pooties? Pooties! Pooties! Uh, yeah, I tried to take a shit there, but somebody else was <laughs> going first. Yeah. I just kicked empty. in the door, like, uh, you know, in the Prodigy video? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's my favorite part of that video. Finish, finish, <laughs> finish the preamble. <laughs> what Prodigy <laughs> video? Well, smack my it bitch was up. a fire yeah. starter! <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's that's classic cinema right there. The prodigy <laughs> smack, smack my bitch, my bitch up, up video. video. The bathroom. It scene. was it was the first actual thing that I had to look for, like in my life. Yeah. Like that was like well, that and, was and plus about. like I can't find it through any legal form of distribution what? anymore. It ain't well, really? well, well, either they've cut out the heroin use or the titties yeah. or the vomiting. And I'm like, God damn it! I want one, yeah. three things. I want all the yeah. <laughs> <Once, laughs> twice, three, three times. times the lady smack my bitch. Uh, okay, video. well, I gave away the ending. That's fine. Uh, well, there's titties before the ending. No, uh, the the ending is. Well, I know the ending, but doesn't once, but, twice, three times the lady, the heroine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What? Uh, well, no, no, but but she's with a girl in yeah. the video, right? Oh no, no, no. They're, they're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, there's other yeah, titties. Other titties. Yeah, that's what OTs. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I was just saying the OTs exist. Jomo, what are you playing? <laughs> pooties? I'm playing a pooties. Yeah. Otherwise, otherwise, you know, I'm online, the internet. Sure. No, no, no. Patreon.com slash where. You want to know where pooties is? Yeah, at? where's pooties? Uh, it's out Spicewood, out, out to near Austin. So near Austin. It's a roadhouse, man. There we go. It's a it's a honky tonky roadhouse. Uh well, I mean, the the goal is that, especially since a lot of our audience lives in and around the central texas area the people more and more people come out to see you yeah that's cool yeah, yeah. so pooties it's uh, oh, a real thing i i, it, I have thought you were uh, joking around no. now, Pootie, Pootie was like uh, willie nelson's road manager for a while mm -hmm. this dude named Pootie. holy shit it's his place but he's, he's not alive anymore, but it's it, that's what it's named after. <laughs> he's not Billy's alive gone? anymore? He's not alive. I love alive he's anymore. He's not alive so anymore. Technically, yes, you're right. <laughs> but God doesn't allow them anymore. God I don't believe said. in that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, real quick, real quick. My deepest hope is that enough people discover you here and end up uh, joining your Patreon at patreon.com slash... The Possum Posse. The Possum Posse. Yeah. And, and uh, 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 everybody join the enough Patreon. Enough people show up out at Pooties, it, it would change the vibe. I think you know a little bit from yeah, the, yeah. So so don't show up at Pooties. I mean, you do do show you up. Could, at you could you could, but don't act like they know you. No, definitely come on out. Everybody, like, everybody, yeah, hat, I love that. Hat, hat real I low. That's a goal. I think that's a yeah. goal. That's like a it squad got, goal. Everybody go to Pooties wearing a fake mustache <laughs> and sunglasses. Yeah. No, and, and do just, and yeah. do this, okay. and then say uh okay. say uh, uh um, I'm a uh fan of your work <laughs> and just sort of flash the diamond club symbol yeah. i would discreetly. love to see anybody there proudly being just who they are i'm just saying you know it's a it's a it's a roadhouse country kind of 
vibe there. It's a vibe. And, uh, it's yeah. a vibe. It's a vibe. And it's yeah. a whole ass vibe. It's a whole ass vibe. It's a, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's like 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 the Indians with buffalo. It's the whole ass. The whole they, they, ass. The yeah. Whole yeah, they use the whole ass for that whole vibe. Ass. Yeah. yeah, I feel like this is a good time to cut everything off. Hey, Brett, what did we learn this episode? Well, we learned that uh, coasts can be subjective. Oh. <laughs> uh, we've we've learned that you know you don't have to be a hand model to be all right, and uh, we learned that it's been a great night. Hells yeah, dude. Uh, look, we love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us every Tuesday. It's just getting better and better. We're already making bigger and bigger plans. Thank you so much to Owen J.J. Stone. Owen J.J. Stone. Give a round of applause. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> one more time for Joe Mom. <laughs> for Brian Brushwood, I'm Justin Robert Young. Shine on you, crazy diamonds. It's still a great night. Slamming my fingers in the door repeatedly feels just the same. Oh, great night. You keep me alive. You help me survive. No, there's never been a greater night, a single bed, a later night, a pause, the masturbation night, a let's get drunk and laugh tonight. There's never been a greater, great night. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>